Knife Edge flight involves rotating the aircraft 90 degrees and flying it on its side. It requires a lot of airspeed or a lot of rudder. I'm going to try it first at high speed. I'm going to roll to the left and then apply right rudder. Use the throttle on the rudder to keep the aircraft from gaining or losing altitude. And roll out. Most planes need a bit of elevator and a bit of aileron to keep the plane in knife edge flight. It's possible to trim some of that out, but I'm focusing this recording on sport pilots, and the assumption is that the typical sport pilot doesn't trim out his plane to fly like a competition ship. A plane like the E3D is difficult to fly precisely in knife edge, which is great for practicing the corrections. I'll do another high speed pass here. That last one, I let it drift quite a bit. And that shows you the importance of the corrections right there. That was pretty good. I'm going to kind of do a half cube and eight, but I'll use some knife edge here instead of a roll and do the same thing with the reverse half cube and just kind of add some variety to the turnaround moves. I'll do another pass. And then I'll go into high rates and do some high alpha knife edge. Roll over to the side and give a burst of throttle. Corrections definitely become more important here. You have to slow the plane down, then roll it, give it the rudder and burst the throttle, and it'll pop in that high alpha. Here it is again. Now right there I didn't watch the correction well enough so the ground track wasn't perfect. I'll do another one. I have to watch that elevator. Now I'll do another turnaround maneuver, this time entirely knife edge. Do it again here. And then one more time. It's possible to do loops too. You just have to move the CG back and increase the throw a bit. The way we've set up the plane, uh, it doesn't quite do a knife edge loop. But you can definitely go into the aircraft editor and make that happen. Now bring it for a landing. There you have it, knife edge flight.